the Rock Metal Podcast, episode 152 with Titanosaur. Rock Metal Nation, what is up? This is John from the Rock Metal Podcast. That's Anthony, you just heard the Queen of the Universe 3000 by Titanosaur, who I've got on the show with me right now. I've got a new album called Eat Me, set to release at the end of May, and right now I'm being joined by the one-man band himself, Jeff, to share some stories of, <laughs> share some stories about the music and share some more info about his project that he's got going on. So, Jeff, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much, John. Absolutely great to have you on. Let's go listen back to that track, Queen of the Universe 3000. The Universe 3000, the opening guitar riff, the drums start kicking. It says that the track is going to be an ass kicker and it doesn't really let up, Jeff. Oh, thanks. Um, that's good to hear. <laughs> now, I'm curious, Jeff, what's the story or inspiration behind the track Queen of the Universe 3000? Well, it, uh, the lyrics were originally written when I was in a punk band back in uh, the early 2000s um, called the Orgasma Bots. Um, and, uh, well, it's, it's pretty <laughs> I'm much. Sorry, am I allowed to laugh? <laughs> Sure. Uh, we, we ended up shortening the name to Obots because uh, first it's a mouthful and second, it's hard to uh, get people to say it. <laughs> so, um, but, uh, you know, that was about 15 years ago anyway, or 18 years ago now. Um, but uh, basically it's, it's, uh, it's about uh, Frankenfurter from the Rocky Heart Picture Show. Okay, cool. And what inspires you to write a track about that? Um, a, a huge Rocky Horror fan. Um, and uh, at the time, uh, the bass player, who's uh, one of my best friends in, in that he was in that punk band also, and we're both huge Rocky fans. Um, and uh, it, it was just something to write about, something to make a song about. Fantastic. Now, I'm curious, uh, with regard to that topic, does that lend itself to the I'm going to be chatting about the, the album, obviously, here in a bit. But does that lend itself to the album Eat Me, or is this kind of like a in itself track? Well, the I um, 
for the past uh, 10 years or so, I've been doing music as an industrial metal band, uh, the Raygun Girls. And that's really serious music, very dark and and, and much more introspective. And uh, I got I needed an outlet for the other side, the more punk side that I have and rock and roll side. And so in a sense, um, all the tracks on this album just uh, are loose, um, not too deep, more about fun, more about rocking. So in that way, it fits in with everything else on the album. Speaking of which, let's go listen to the next track, Thursday. Metal Nation, it's John from the Rock Metal Podcast for a real quick break to let you know that Jay over at Metal Mayhem Radio is looking to help you get your band in rotation on his station. So go ahead and hit up Jay at studio at metalmayhemradio.co.uk. That is studio at metalmayhemradio.co.uk. Just go ahead and say that the Rock Metal Podcast sent you. He'll get you into rotation on Metal Mayhem Radio. I come back from Thursday. Now I'm curious, similar question for you. What's the story? inspiration behind thursday um again just listen well not again but uh, this time listening to the rhythm and i just uh, got this rhythm of words um and that's where i started with the the first verse set the tempo and let it rip um and then i just went from there a free association um 
and I had this line that I I keep uh, I keep uh, on my on my phone a list of lines that I come up with uh, lyrics to use at some point, and I had this lyric uh, um, just uh, shower the novocaine and make these feelings dead again. So it fit right perfectly where the the chorus seemed to go. And so we just went from there. That is also how I feel about Thursday sometimes. <laughs> well, and, and the whole thing, when, when I looked at all the lyrics together I could, and thinking, uh, trying to think of a title, it just felt like uh, the description of somebody's day. So that I just picked Thursday out of a hat. Now, I'm curious because you mentioned that you've got this you know, stockpile of lyrics, and it sounds like with Thursday, the music came first and then the lyrics came after. Well, generally, I, I do both uh, separate um, and then I smush them together. Okay, cool, cool. Now I'm I'm curious, does all the lyrical content for Eat Me come from this stockpile of lyrics, or did you on the fly as you're hearing the song come up with something that completely surprised you? Well, um generally speaking, I try to start at least with something I've got because that kicks it off. Um but yeah, usually the rest of the song comes with uh what I've started with and the rhythm of the song that I've got going and um just ideas or free association, whichever happens to be going on in my brain at the moment. Cool. Now for Rock Nation, who dug the two tracks, Queen of the Universe 3000 and Thursday, exciting news is that there is a full album coming called The Eat Me that is set to drop in May. Now, when we pick up the album Eat Me, what should we expect? Well, there are um, 11 songs on there and uh already released escape velocity back in november um which is another really heavy fast track um it's uh somewhere between rock and roll punk rock um you know, motorhead's a huge influence so it's somewhere uh it's definitely loud music um expect uh choruses you can sing along to and a full album you know uh, you can definitely listen to it from the beginning to the end all the songs without fast forwarding I think anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Now, the next logical question on Rock Metal Nation's mind, who are just frothing at the ears at the idea of being able to pick up Eat Me, is how can they find out more about you on the web? Uh, I got a website, titanosaur.savagevibes.com, or on Twitter, Titanosaur Rocks, on Instagram, Titanosaur Rocks, and on Facebook, Titanosaur Rocks. Fantastic. Now, Jeff, is there anything else you wanted to throw out there? I just wanted to thank you for taking time out of your day to come on to the Rock Metal Podcast and sharing Titanosaur with Rock Metal Nation. Well, thank you very much, Rock Metal Nation, and uh, I hope you guys go listen to the whole album. Uh, again, it's it's a really rocking album. I, I enjoy it a lot. It's really uplifting for me, and I hope it will be for everybody else to just slam against the wall. Too. Hopefully you just found your new favorite band in Titanosaur. Big thanks again to them for coming on and sharing their music with us. Make sure to head over to www.therockmetalpodcast.ca to get all the information on the show you just heard today. And until then, rock on, Rock Metal Nation. Rock Metal Nation.